Hello uh, viewers, welcome to Eduate. In this session, we are going to discuss some probable questions on voice change, how to convert a sentence from active to passive or from passive to active. In our previous videos, we discussed the concepts and the classifications and structure of voice change which you can go through. Now, let us concentrate on the questions. Uh, question number 1, his behavior vexes me sometimes his behavior vexes me sometimes. As discussed that while converting a sentence from active to passive or from passive to active, be very careful of what type of sentence that you are given to. Sentence to tomaloke pori palai buzi laba, ito active ota se ne passive ota se. To understand that we discuss the basic concept that whether the subject is the doer or the subject is acted upon. Recipient ne doer, he to buza jathishto guru tapunno. His behavior his behavior vexes me sometimes. His behavior vexes me sometimes. His behavior subject vexes action word verb third person singular number yes me sometimes. Tense buzilom with main verb vexes present tense. So his behavior subject vexes verb in present tense me object. So if you change it me it should be I. Tense is present I logo hibo M and the third form of vex it should be vexed. Now, with vex, the preposition that vex will carry is at and with, but here it is his behavior. So, manu hole hakibo with, manu hor kiba bostu ba bikhor logot hole hoy at. So, yate his behavior, so is the thing that we are talking about. I am vexed at his behavior. I am vexed at his behavior sometimes will remain the same. So, this is the solution to question number one. Now, come down to question number two. Sachin is admired for his qualities. Sachin is admired for his qualities. Go through the sentence, you will see. Sachin ok admire kore, kune kore amak dianai. Tarmane this sentence, subject is the recipient. Subject is the recipient, mane to passive structure se. So here we can bring the subject as kunu bai kore. So people will be the right subject here. People, tense ki hobo is admired. So, look at the auxiliary verb given here is is. Tamane chart khan classification or mon kori ba is auxiliary verb in passive tense in auxiliary is is to the dia se tense in active amarahibo present. So, admired people more than one it should be people admire subject here will become the object such in for his qualities will remain the same. That should be the answer to question number two. Let us see question number 3. What causes an earthquake? What causes an earthquake? A sentence of interrogative sentence type. So, interrogative sentence of korote to malaketa was to mon rakhiba jodi amar active what what dia se passive what ami use korim by what active what jodi amak dia se who passive what ami use korim by whom. Active word jodi amak dia ase whom. Passive word ami use korim who. Baki bilag interrogative pronoun not for rest of the interrogative pronouns like why, how, when, where, active or passive will remain the same. So, active and passive or a interrogative or conversion to monodraki, but we discussed in the classification type ki interrogative sentence will remain as an interrogative sentence in active as well as in passive. So, that would be very crucial for us to remember what is the structure of an interrogative sentence. I repeat what is the structure of an interrogative sentence. After wh word, we have to put the auxiliary verb. What causes an earthquake? Causes main verb is our clue to identify the tense. Causes mean the sentence is given in present tense. Present tense there are three auxiliary verbs. They are am, is, and are. So object here is an earthquake. Object here is an earthquake. Man is a singular subject. What will be using by what? Third episode ami keep put kori bolagi bo. Is by what is an earthquake? by what is an earthquake third form of the main verb cost again repeating please don't commit the mistake of writing as by what an earthquake is cost a to bhul kite ba hoa dekha jai so that has to be maintained by what auxiliary verb should be retained current interrogative sentence to amar maintain hoi thakki bolagi bo answer to question number three is done 
Let's come to question number four. She was promised a doll on her birthday. She was promised a doll on her birthday. So again, active or passive, somebody has promised. So it, it reading the sentence, it is known that this sentence is written in passive structure. She was promised a doll. Kuno by dise. So if we go by the agent, her parents, her parents promised, her parents promised her a doll on her birthday will remain the same. Her parents promised her a doll. Was thaka karne promised hoyse tense or violation kori bo noaru. So that has to be maintained. What amused you? Question number six. What amused you? Again, a question with interrogative structure. So again, we have to maintain by what. Ebar among verb ki dile amused. Mane kun tense V2 form. V2 auxiliary ki was and where. You logot teli kori bo by what where you by what where you amused will be the answer. Question mark to retain korim. Number six. Who has broken the window pane? Who has broken the window pane? Has broken. Tense is present perfect. In case, in the case of who we should be using, by whom, by whom the window pane singular, by whom has the window pane, by whom has the window pane been, has or kept been used for him, third form will remain broken question mark should be retained by whom has the window pane been broken question number seven says he will be forgotten will be forgotten in few years Taman again this sentence is in passive structure kunubai teong pahori jabo b plus v3 future uh, passive form he will be forgotten in few years answer will be people people will Will or pisot barbar forget v1 will forget kak him in a few years will remain the same. Now let us see question number 8. What is done cannot be undone. What is done cannot be undone. Very famous line from uh, William Shakespeare's play Macbeth. What is done cannot be undone. Pay attention to the sentence you will see there are two verbs. What is done cannot be undone. What is jitu korilu nai kora buli kobo noaru. While you convert a sentence like that, be very careful. Is done. Mane to kun form of dia se tar passive form of dia se cannot be undone. Passive form of dia se. So ta kamiji te convert korim. How to do that? We we cannot we cannot undo we cannot undo what we do. We cannot undo what we do. Is thaka karne tends to do. Cannot be gusigol. Cannot repeat our V1 form. Undo. We cannot undo what we do. Question number nine. The building is being demolished. Again, go for the clues. Clues will have to pick. Kori ba jitiya mi voice change koru. The building is being demolished. Being indicating that is progressive form continued hoye sil. Is indicating the tense of the sentence is present. The building is being demolished. The workers, but they did yeah. The workers are workers. Puli kolle plural subject are tends to tell you ba are demolishing, demolishing the building. The workers are demolishing the building. Come down to question number ten. Pay the bill immediately. This is an imperative sentence already discussed in the classification part. When you talk about imperative sentence, it always starts with the verb. Pay the bill immediately. The subject remains hidden but silent. Mane you, the second person, is assumed to be the subject here. Pay the bill immediately. Ami yaar use kori bo lagi bo. Let the bill be the third form paid immediately. Let the bill be paid immediately will be the answer. Just see the difference between question number ten and eleven. Both are imperative sentences, but the structure is slightly different. Here, 11 is a request. Please park the car here. Please park the car here. Question number 11 is a request. In the case of a sentence carrying consisting please, while converting active to passive, we should be using you are requested to. You are requested to. Then the rest will remain the same. Two pieces of hard work. You are requested to 
park the car here you are requested to park the car here will be the answer to question number 11 let's see question number 12 misconduct should not be encouraged misconduct should not be encouraged should model auxiliary verb not be encouraged mane ekta passive form should not be encouraged kono ba encourage no koribo so again the subject we can have say we should not we should not encourage misconduct we should not encourage misconduct will be the answer here Number 13, another extra type of question that sometimes you might get on the day of your exam. The cakes eat sweet and crisp. Read the sentence carefully. Cakes kini ketia sweet and crisp. The cakes are sweet and crisp. Jeti amit cakes pur khao. So cakes eat sweet and crisp. So when you convert this kind of sentences, follow this structure. The cakes are, are used kurisu because question carrying plural subject cakes. The cakes are sweet and crisp the cakes are sweet and crisp when they are passive form kori bola gibo when they are eaten when they are eaten the cakes are sweet and crisp when they are eaten will be the answer any question question kite bathe monke paisila agor class buro to honey tastes sweet the honey is sweet when it is tasted the medicine tastes bitter, the medicine is bitter when it is tasted, similar kind of problems given to you as well. Question number 14, another interrogative sentence consisting of model auxiliary verb of ability can, can anyone climb that mountain, can anyone, active voice, can anyone climb that mountain. So the conversion will be, can thakile ami can retain korim, can object amarahibo subject isabe, can that mountain. Can that mountain be climbed? Can that mountain be climbed by anyone? Question mark to retain hobo. Can that mountain be climbed by anyone? Last of this set of questions, question number 15. It is time to take tea. Sometimes you might get a question consisting uh, this clause, it is time to take tea. It is time to take tea. Jodi enuka question ami pao, tar conversion ki hobo. It is time for tea to be taken. It is time, it is time for tea to be taken. It is time for tea to be taken. So here we have solved 15 set of questions uh, with certain basic tips how to solve those questions in quick time on the day of your examination. Hope you have gone through the understood the basic concept discussed with each and every question with this with some of the voice chats class. Thank you.